What's so special about GPT-3 that separates it from other types of models like BERT or XGBoost? I tried to make a funny video about this, but y'all didn't seem to get it. So let's go do a little bit of a lecture. Woo! The first is, this is emergent behavior. So if you're working with uranium, if you have a little bit of uranium, it's not gonna do anything. You add a bunch of uranium, boom. This is the same type of behavior we're seeing with these models where we don't see these behaviors with smaller models, but when they get large enough, we see it. Take a look at the sentiment task. In traditional machine learning, we'd have to give a model hundreds, thousands of examples of reviews with the sentiment, and then that model would learn from those patterns. But here, take a look. We give the model some examples, and from that, it's able to learn what we want. Wow. And there's lots of behaviors that models are able to learn this way. For example, take a look at these examples that are mathematical that a model is able to learn. Now the key is, is a small model doesn't understand that. Pretty much gets accuracy close to random. But once we get to these larger scale models, take a look at the performance. They understand how to solve these problems. And we see this behavior across lots of models where this emergent behavior to do this in context learning or few shot learning emerges in these larger models. And that's what makes them so cool. 